Hi, my name's Keith and I'm known as a Florida Stoneman and today I'm going to be talking to you all about your foot chakras. Yeah, your foot chakras. This video is very important because when your foot chakra is open, you can be very scared. It can leave you very scared and very feeling very helpless. And this is not something, this is your source of power. This is an extreme source of power. And if you're not opening, I mean, I'll teach you how to open your foot chakras in this video. My foot chakras just became very open very recently. No surprise, because I'm wearing a ton of anklets. I'll do an anklet reveal in this video, by the way, a random at a random point in time in the video. But uh, I can, let's talk about all you need to know with your foot chakras, AKA the root star. People are like, well, your feet are not important. Well, what do you use to walk with? What do you use to walk with? Uh, uh, how do you how do you experience the world? Some people who I mean, it's a gift to have your feet. That's your locomotion. That's your ability to move around. That's uh, something w some people wish they could have. That's sometimes that's what have people have taken away from them is their feet. It's because they didn't appreciate the world that they're in or they're doing bad. But in this video, I'm gonna talk to you all about the root star chakra, what crystals mean on the feet or the anklet, and a whole bunch more. I'm going to share some of my experiences with my uh, foot chakra awakening or root star chakra. I'll alternate the terms and how I use them because I have to teach about this correctly. Uh, like I said, it could be very scary. The first thing I would like you to know, it's like your feet become your hand. And it's the strangest thing in the world. It's the strangest, almost scariest feeling in the world. You feel as much as you do out of your hands from your feet. And it really, it freaks people out. Because if you think about it, our whole lives, most people don't feel energy with their hands. Most people don't have their hand chakras open. Their hand chakras are very closed. So, and understanding that most people's hand chakras, and I made a video talking about how to open your hand chakras, I might make a video talking about how to open your feet chakras because it's an energy exercise that my angels have given me to help you guys. Uh, sometimes your foot chakras open by themselves. Sometimes if you're someone, uh, you might have them already open. They might still need to be opened. Some people do grounding exercises. They'll go out in nature, they'll walk around. If you're someone who walks with your feet a lot, it's probably open. If you walk in nature a lot, it's probably open. If you're uh, very, very connected with the earth and you like to ground and stick, stick your feet in soil and you Maybe you're working, maybe you're on a farm, you live in a farm, you're barefoot, whatever, whatever. Then you're very in tune. So let's just say the first sign or that your feet are open is vibrations. And disclaimer, disclaimer, nothing that I'm teaching in this video has to do with anything about physicality or anything with physical. I'm not a doctor. Uh, I'm a healer spiritually. There we go. There's the disclaimer, so now I can get all into depth about the secrets of the foot chakra. Uh, one thing you do have to know, like I said, it's very scary and it can be ungrounding. And yes, I'm, I'm on the water right now, very beautiful view. Uh, but it can be ungrounding because you'll start feeling stuff out of your feet and sometimes you'll think, and once you know it's nothing physical, then you know it's spiritual. So you'll have to make sure you check your health, vitamins, whatever. I talk to your doctors about that. This is a spiritual video. But you'll feel extra feelings out of your feet. You'll feel warm, cold. Uh, you'll feel the ground moving. You'll feel a whole bunch of stuff. You'll, it's stuff that people don't even think that they can feel. It's st something that most people can't even imagine. It's, and like I said, you want to open your hand chakras before your feet chakra. I mean, I know the feet start first because it's your root star chakra, although this gift can kind of freak people out. And when you open the feet, you'll open the hands. When you open the hands, you won't necessarily open the feet. So this chakra is very interesting. So you'll feel other people walking around. I mean, let's talk about when it's more open. You'll feel, you'll walk into a, an environment and you'll know people are there just because you feel it through your feet. It detects life. It, you'll know when there's something alive within 15 to 20 feet of you because you'll feel it touch them. Like you could feel like the, it's like the root system of a tree. So when, you know, roots, they branch out and they connect to each other. So we're all interconnected like that, but that's really like our basis. So, and, and working with the root star chakra or the feet chakras, it helps you uncover your past lives as well. Cause that's your base chakra. That's, that's your base, base chakra. The colors associated with this chakra is black, gray, 
red and black, gray, red. I'm looking at my anklets in case I forgot any, but that's mainly it. Black, gray, red. Oh, brown too. Definitely brown. But and yeah, I'm gonna be showing you my uh, my anklets in this video. If you've never seen my anklets, it's, they're super interesting. Yeah, random anklet reveal. But your root star chalk, I mean, what's the benefits to having it open? You'll feel things around you. You can feel the energies of money, abundance, love, protection. You can feel when, I'm going to say, you can feel when there's certain illness causing demons there that's nearby. Disclaimer, spiritual information, but you'll feel illness causing demons. So like things that are associated with the demons of, of plagues, because they'll you'll have like a sensor go off. You'll feel something go off. It, it's like a mini alarm. It'll tell you your feet, I mean, your root star chakras, your feet chakras will tell you uh, if you're going down the right path and if you're going down the wrong path. Now, it'll, you'll feel certain resistance when you walk in certain directions. You'll feel encouraged when you walk in certain directions. So this thing, the, the main factor about the feet chakras at the root star chakras is you'll feel very connected. You'll know you're on the right track. So when does this open the most? When do your feet chakras open the most? Is when you know you're on the right track in life, when you're not uncertain. So when do they become unstable? It's when you feel lost. So that's, uh, I won't talk too much about when they when you, when you feel like your root star chakra is not aligned because it's more about how to activate them and how to align them. But it won't really matter if they're unaligned because when you align them, uh, they'll start opening up. So even the first humans used magnetite on their feet. They used it in their shoes. They walked around with it. It helped them feel more connected to the earth. It, helped, it gave them a better sense of direction. One of the best things you can do is to work with the root star chakra. The first, I mean, even if you're feeling ungrounded, try just, I mean, the first step in opening your root star chakras is, or chakra is just focusing on your feet. So for about 30 minutes a day, I mean, you can do it for five minutes a day if you want. Focus on the bottom of your feet and how they feel. I did a grounding, a clairvoyant grounding exercise video. That'll help open your root, chak root star chakra too. What's the difference between the root star and the root? One's uh, goes six feet under, and like there's a crown star. This one goes six feet above. So this will help your. Uh, it'll help you communicate with animals, other people. It'll help. It literally is a chakra that kicks negative energy away. It's very protective. It helps with stability. It helps with abundance. Little secret about the root star chakra: it's your abundance center as well. It's another abundance center. And I'm actually going to show you one anklet. This is one ankle. I don't even know how I just took it off. It just came off. Uh, I was playing with it, I guess, but this is one anklet that I have, and I'll show you the rest soon. But yeah, they're chunky anklets. They're literally uh, demon kickers. Uh, goof, goofer dust tap dancers. I don't know how you want to word it, but, but uh, I'm going to put it back on so I can show you guys the actual anklet. Like I said, I don't know how I, don't know how I managed to take that one off. Hold on one second, guys. But it was almost like a TikTok live putting down the phone, but... <laughs> Uh, I never put down my phone in a video before. How cool. But now I'm going to reveal the actual anklets, not revealing too much. This is not that kind of YouTube. How cool. There's a billion different gemstones on here. So I'm going to talk about some root star chakra gemstones just to help you guys. We have golden, golden, uh, golden sheen obsidian. We have some uh, tektite. We have silver sheen obsidian. And yes, I'm showing you guys. Uh, this is why you guys never see my anklets. We have black jet stone. People are like, can I see it better? They're all dark. Uh, we have lava. We have uh, mahogany obsidian, petrified wood some pyrite and i know some of these don't sound like they're sacral i mean root star chakra gemstones I'm making sure i'm keeping the camera in the right place uh black sunstone aka great gray sunstone the great sunstone there's bronze i i can't show you guys every single one of them but there's petrified wood there's uh, all the obsidians all the obsidians that's it all the obsidians it's a whole bunch of crystals there's, there's more than 50 crystals there 
So there we go. I showed you guys the anklets for once. And you guys see why it's a little more challenging for me to show you anklets. And they're the same on each side too. Also, I'll show you the other one. And yes, there we go. How beautiful. They're like shoes. They literally fit like shoes. Okay, doke. Okay. Some awkward camera angles, but yeah. Huh, okay, cool. So root star chakra gemstones, you can wear them on your feet. So now I'm, here are some rules about the root star chakra. There are some crystals you should never, ever, ever put on your anklets or ankles ever, ever. Well, I mean never, it'll, it'll kill your abundance to put these crystals on your anklets. When you put any green gemstones, any green crystals around your anklet, it's really bad. It, literally the heart chakra gem, I mean the heart chakra frequency, when put on the root star chakra, will cut your cords. You'll feel flightless. And some people, I, I saw some people like, oh, it's cool to be ungrounded. That's what an ungrounded person would say. So someone like that, being ungrounded will literally cut your abundance. Your guides will allow, stop allowing abundance to come in until you ground yourself. It's 100% because they care about you. You can't be ungrounded with abundance. Uh, they don't go hand in hand. That's where, Remember how I said this is your abundance center? Same thing, because it's your root center. It's your network of, of roots. But what do these crystals do? They literally awaken your, your cord that goes into the earth. So... Let's think of a tree. The tree has the branches. The tree has the roots. This is the crown, this is the branches, the higher branches. And the root is the stems, the trees. So if you study information about how trees really connect to each other, it's through the root systems. They can, they can pass each other nutrients and food. They can warn each other. They can help each other stay standing strong. That's what your root star chakra is about. And that's why it's so good for abundance. Back to your root star chakra and how you can feel them. Well, an exercise you can do is literally practice grounding. Practice my clairvoyant exercises on the other video. Uh, practice for just bring your attention to your feet. So your feet should be heavy after five, 10 minutes of just thinking about them. If you can't do this, you definitely need to do it more or work your way up to it. Because some people, I mean, one thing you can do as well is you can write the word grounded on the bottoms of both your feet. So the word grounded. So when you write the word grounded on the bottom of both your feet, you'll feel more grounded. So make sure it's something like an eyeliner or something that's not going to make a mess, but you'll feel a lot more grounded. Signs that your root star chakra is open in a sense, not, I'm not talking about that because there's two, there are two parts of how it's open. There, it's being open and then you can feel out of it. There's the difference between the two. So after it's open for so long and it gets so strong that it's open, is when you start being able to, to, to detect, to detect. It's like your antennas. You can start feeling from them. You can start, it literally feels like you're a tree. You can, you feel outside your body. Like I said, this can make people feel kind of afraid. So I told you about how you can start activating it, but this will have people feeling kind of freaked out. So when you feel twitching or buzzing or just all these different sensations out of your feet and you know 100% that you're healthy and it's not physical and you talk to your doctor or whatever disclaimer this is a spiritual video then you know it's your root star chakra activating and opening now when this gift is open you, and you're comfortable with it because your guys will wait till you get comfortable because it can be kind of freaky and kind of spooky it's like sensations that you never thought you would ever have in your feet you'll, you'll be able to feel Here's something that's interesting. You'll feel other people walking. You'll feel footsteps in your foot. It's it's freaky. It's otherworldly. It's, it's something I can't even describe because I'm still experiencing it develop more and more and more and more. But it's otherworldly. It's something that is just different. It's just super, super different. So it's different for everyone. One thing you guys practice is rubbing your hands on your feet. Basically, take your hand chakras, rub them together, and then rub your feet like really fast and you'll feel some kind of tingling and sensations that's how you activate it that's the simplest way to tell you guys how to activate it then you'll start feeling energy out of it and you'll feel what i'm talking about because i can describe it all day night long but you won't be able to imagine it or you'll put some kind of expectation on it so 
this video, I reveal to you my anklets, the root star chakra, how to activate it, where you might be in your root star chakra journey. And some of you might just, that everyone could do this because some people will have a gift open and they'll just be like, well, I thought everyone could do this. Well, I mean, I've met people who've had the most, the world's strongest clairvoyance in the entire world. Like they can basically see into other people's homes, like cameras without even trying. And they're like, oh, I thought everyone, I, I thought everyone could do this one. Uh, they close their eyes and that, that's why I'm telling you guys to up, up your protections. I've made videos about that. But, and yeah, some people accidentally look into your home without even trying it. So do some protections, put some rainbow fluorite in your windows and black tourmaline, you should be good. Any questions, ask them in the comment section. I have a whole bunch of cool necklaces on the website, floridastoneman.com. These necklaces are absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, don't put any uh, green crystals. It's mainly green crystals. Green crystals, you don't wanna put blue crystals. You don't wanna put third eye crystals or crown crystals. Keep it sacral solar plexus or uh, actually, yeah, sacral solar plexus and roots, root chakra. So just basically keep the colors red for anklets, red. And you can look at my anklets as a reference. Black, orange, gray, brown. There we go. So keep it to those colors if you want to keep uh, your abundance from not getting clipped because once your root star chakra gets clipped, you're kind of stuck and it makes it feel everything's crazy. If you have any questions, ask them in the comment section. Make sure you check out my website, floridastoneman.com. Till then, I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.